I remember when I got out of the shower and I went to my bedroom to change. Out of nowhere, my babysitter ends up walking in, saw my eggplant, and grabbed it just to make me eat dinner. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school, and this was my grade 9 year. Now, in grade 9, I managed to get a lot of different types of babysitters because my parents would always go out on vacation and do many different things since I was of age to, well, kind of, I guess, take care of myself, but not fully because I would always end up getting a babysitter but my parents never mind getting a babysitter for me and i remember one day in my grade nine year when i was heading home from school i remember i was super excited to be home because i remember there was a new game coming out that year and i just wanted to play it all day and all night and not do anything else other than play video games and i remember once i walked through my house doors out of nowhere i ended up seeing my parents with luggage near the entrance and one of them looked at me saying oh bubba uh we're going to be leaving for a couple days you will be home but there's a babysitter coming in like half an hour okay i'll see you in three days and then out of nowhere both my parents ended up leaving now this moment honestly i wasn't really phased by it nor did i say anything back because i wasn't surprised that they were doing this and to be honest i had other plans like i said earlier i was just planning to go upstairs and play video games and not do anything else so i remember that exact moment i went upstairs i ended up just you know unpacking my things from school and instantly sat on my bed and just started gaming out of nowhere like i want to say 20 minutes later i ended up hearing the door knock and at that moment i instantly just went down the stairs opened the door for the babysitter and i didn't even say hello to her i literally just opened the door and went right back upstairs I remember this babysitter. She looks at me really like weirdly and she's like, um, you know, you're supposed to say hi when you answer the door. Uh, sorry. I got other plans. I got to go is what I told her. And I went upstairs and I just closed my room door and I just started playing. It's kind of crazy now that I think about it. Cause I basically let a total stranger into my house without any supervision. But at the same time, her job was to supervise me, not me supervising her. So in reality, I just wasn't going to do her job going on from there. I remember I was sitting down I started playing my game and I'm not going to lie to you. I was just going through every mission I can possible searching up YouTube videos on how to beat certain levels and what's the best way to do it but as i was in there for i want to say four hours out of nowhere i remember the babysitter ended up walking into my room and she looks at me and says oh uh so i haven't seen you like all day are you okay like do you need anything no i'm just playing this video game why do you need something no i'm asking you if you need anything because you haven't said anything nor you know have you asked for anything like are you sure you're okay yeah i'm fine i'm just playing this new game that came out i remember that moment she came and sat down beside me and she started like asking me questions about this game and stuff and since i did some research on it before i started playing it obviously i I knew all the answers that she wanted. But one thing I will say is that she was probably asking me all these questions because she wanted to get to know me, but it's hard to get to know someone when you're only talking about one certain subject. Like it's like walking up to a girl and just talking about dogs. In reality, you're learning more about dogs than the actual person. But going on with the story, I remember one thing led to another. She ends up looking at me and says, okay, well, I'm going to go make dinner. Are you hungry at all? Uh, yeah, you can make me a grilled cheese sandwich. That'd be awesome. I'm just going to continue staying here and playing the game. So just bring it upstairs, would you? Are you allowed to eat in your room? Uh, yeah, is what I told her when in reality i wasn't actually allowed to eat in my room but what she was just my babysitter obviously she wouldn't know that so i remember this babysitter goes downstairs gets food ready and then comes back upstairs and gives me my food and just basically leaves me alone i remember hours went by and i want to say like more than five to six hours and it was definitely like getting super late because i remember when i looked outside it was like super dark out when i checked my phone for the time i saw it was like basically like almost three in the morning and when i saw it was three in the morning i was like whoa like it's getting really late but at the same time i didn't really know if i wanted to get off so so I remember I ended up going downstairs real quick to go get a glass of water because, well, I always like to get a glass of water before I go to bed. And when I got my glass of water, I remember I went straight upstairs and I basically started playing the game a bit longer until I ended up passing out. Comment down below if you guys have ever passed out during a video game and what video game it was, because I'm not going to lie to you. Passing out during a video game really shows your passion for the game that you were playing. I remember the next day I ended up waking up out of nowhere and right as I opened my eyes, I am not joking. I looked at my TV that was on my wall and I saw that I was still in the middle of a video game so i ended up actually just picking up my controller again and continued the game literally first thing i did was wake up and start playing video games it's actually kind of insane but this is where things get really crazy because i remember i want to say like 20 minutes went by and out of nowhere i ended up seeing the babysitter that was at the house end up walking into my room saying oh you're awake and you're back on playing the video game uh yeah i just want to beat this mission you do realize you've been playing this game all night right uh yeah what about it okay well i'll just leave you alone i guess yeah that'd be cool thanks and this babysitter ended up leaving. Now, I will say this. I was being really rude to her, but at the same time, like I said earlier, ever since I got home, I had a plan to play this video game. So obviously, I'm going to play it. I remember four hours went by. And once again, I was still playing this game. I don't know how, but I just kept playing this game. And I even got to the point where I actually had a water bottle that I ended up, you know, pissing in because, well, I didn't want to go to the bathroom because I was in the middle of a cutscene. So obviously, sacrifices were made, people. But out of nowhere, I remember my babysitter ends up walking into my room and she looks at me and says, okay, Bubba, seriously? 
literally, you've been playing this game for like over like two days now. I am not joking. You need to take care of yourself. Okay, well, I'll do it later. No, I think you're going to do it right now. My opinion, go take a shower. Uh, I don't really want to. Let me just finish this mission real quick. I remember this babysitter got really fed up with me and she got so upset to the point where she actually ended up walking up in front of my TV and she turned off my Xbox. She turned it off and said, go take a shower now. The game can wait. Oh, fine. Whatever is what I told her. And I instantly just got up, went straight to the bathroom and I just took a shower. I remember when I got into the shower, I was so annoyed and super upset. So I ended up speed running the shower and I am not joking. I was probably in the shower for like less than five minutes. And basically right after my shower, I ended up getting out of the shower, putting on my towel and walking straight back into my room. But when I got inside my room, I ended up seeing my babysitter sitting on my bed, looking at me saying, Bubba, there is no way you showered less than five minutes. There is no possible way you're actually clean. Uh, well, I did. So what about it? Baba? No, seriously, go back into the shower and finish. Finish what? I'm not going to go take a shower. And I'm not joking. When I said that, I did not expect her to do anything because usually babysitters wouldn't do anything. But this babysitter was different because I remember this babysitter ends up walking up to me, takes off my towel and grabs me by the eggplant and says, Baba, you're going back into the shower now. At that moment, I was looking down and I started getting bricked because she was obviously holding my eggplant and she she could definitely feel that I was getting bricked. And I remember this babysitter ended up looking down at her hand that was grabbing my eggplant. And she says, okay, you know what? This is getting weird. You think? is what I said afterwards. And then she ended up basically grabbing it tighter and walking me back to the bathroom just to go back into the shower. At that moment, I felt violated. But at the same time, I was actually kind of like, you know, bricked up because obviously that's kind of hot. Not going to lie. But I was super annoyed. And I'm not joking. I ended up taking a full on 20 minute shower, got out of the shower, went back into my room and started playing the game. But as I was playing the game, I remember the babysitter ends up walking back into my room. Like I want to say like an hour later. And I remember during a cutscene, this babysitter was just standing there. And she said, Baba, I just want to say like, I'm sorry that that happened i was just really fed up and like you were starting to smell and i just wanted you are you even listening to me yeah just give me a second let me finish this cutscene. when she saw i was not paying attention to her she ended up finding out a way to get my attention and that was by pulling her shirt up and she pulled her shirt up and i saw her cherries out and she said bubba are we even now uh yeah we're even is what i said staring at her cherries and your parents are not gonna find out about this right yeah no i'm not gonna say a word okay sweet she ended up pulling her shirt down and she went back downstairs and just mind her own business but at that moment on i'm not gonna lie to you i was actually kind of like amazed about what this babysitter did because not only did she get me to take a shower during grind time but she also got my attention from my cutscene that was very important into the story i'm not joking i ended up having to like reload a save file that i had just to rewatch the cutscene but hey what can i say cherries are my weakness and also if you guys want a babysitter like this one my suggestion is to fall for more embarrassing stories i remember when i went downstairs i ended up walking up to my babysitter and i saw she had her finger up her nose and then she ended up scratching her peach with it like ew yo what is going on you guys my name is bubba and welcome back to a super embarrassing story so this this story takes place back in my grade five years. So I was in elementary school and I was just a basic kid. And I'm not going to lie to you. I did not know any better than the average child. The only thing I cared about back when I was in grade five was tech decks, video games, and also probably Pokemon. I love Pokemon and to this day, I still do. But one thing I will say is that one thing I hated was that I was a major introvert, meaning that I would never be able to really go out and talk to people. Hell, I was even nervous to go and buy a pizza one time. Like I could not talk to anybody. And I always felt like I was really, really awkward. Awkward. Obviously, throughout middle school, I started learning how to not be, but especially in grade five, honestly, I was just not good with interacting or, or basically confront someone in any way. But I remember one time I was walking home from my elementary school after my classes were done, and I basically started heading home. When I finally got home, I saw my parents were looking at me, and one of my parents ended up walking up to me, which was my mother, and said, Oh, Baba, so we're going to be leaving for a couple days. We're going to give you a babysitter, so do not worry. Everything will be okay. Where are you guys going? Oh, we're going to quickly go visit your auntie in the states so you do your thing here uh don't worry the babysitter will be here any minute but we have to go now okay i left some grilled cheese sandwich for you at the kitchen um okay is what i said and right away my parents ended up leaving obviously at first i was really nervous about being home alone but at the same time like it didn't seem that much of a difference since i wouldn't interact with my parents anyway even if they were home so i remember i ended up just going straight up to my room and started playing video games obviously in grade five you don't really get any crazy homework so you know i just ended up sitting there sitting on my xbox playing video games the entire time and pretending that everything was okay until out of nowhere i remember the doorbell rang and i ended up hearing someone at my door now once again i was a major introvert like to the point where 
where I was scared of everything. I was even afraid of my own shadow. So when I heard the doorbell rang, I remember I was super nervous to go basically answer the door. Then I ended up going onto my balcony and looking down at my front door to see who it was. When I looked down, I saw that there was a girl in like a crop top. She was like a basic girl. And I remember I saw that there was already a stain on her shirt. And I'm not going to lie to you. She looked disgusting. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember I basically ended up looking down and she looked up right away and saw me. She ended up saying, hi, you must be Bubba. Can you come get the door? I, I mean, I can. Okay, well, can you? I remember that moment. I felt like it was a really awkward situation. So I remember I ended up basically going off my balcony, sprinting straight to the front door and I let her in. When I let her in, I remember she looks over at me and she started smiling at me. And when I saw her smile, I am not joking. She had the most yellow teeth ever. Like her teeth were more yellow than Big Bird. Like it was ultimately disgusting. And I remember I kept looking at her thinking, how in the world did my parents find this babysitter? I remember she ends up coming in and she ends up basically like, you know, introducing herself and basically telling me how we're going to have a great time and just, you know, the basic rundown of how the night's going to go. Obviously for me, I ended up just, you know, ignoring her somewhat. Obviously this wasn't my first babysitter ever, but I will say that, you know, I just ended up just pretending I knew what she was saying, shaking my head and I went straight back upstairs. When I went back upstairs, I remember I ended up going straight to my Xbox and I started playing Xbox again. But five minutes later, she ended up coming up to my room and out of nowhere, even on the stairwell, I ended up hearing like a little fart sound. And I was like, wait a second. What? What was that? And then I ended up seeing my babysitter walk into the room and say, oh, hey, Baba. So I was just wondering, I'm a little hungry. Are you hungry? No, my mom gave me food before I left. Oh, okay. Well, I'm hungry. So is there anything for me to eat in the kitchen? Uh, I mean, you can just help yourself is what I said. And I remember she went straight downstairs and basically started doing her own thing. To be honest, I don't know what she did because I was upstairs playing Xbox. But I remember 20 minutes went by and I ended up basically getting actually hungry. I don't know why in grade five I would eat a lot. To be honest, I was a bit overweight back when I was in grade five. But anyways, afterwards, I ended up going Going downstairs and when I started to head downstairs I turned the corner and instantly I ended up seeing that this babysitter was leaning back on a chair in the dining room table with her feet kicked up onto the table with her toes out and she was eating crackers and ketchup together now listen crackers and cheese that makes sense you know cheese and crackers that's fine but ketchup and crackers like are you joking bro that's disgusting I remember at that moment I looked at her and I basically looked at her really weird and she looked at me saying oh you must be hungry here do you want a cracker and ketchup? Uh, I'm good, thanks, is what I told her. And I remember I basically ended up walking away and went to the living room to watch TV. I remember after a while, I actually started starving even more and more to the point where I ended up basically texting my parents that I was starving and that this babysitter cannot cook for the life of her. My parents ended up texting me, oh, Bubba, well, we left some cash for you upstairs under daddy's pillow. Go upstairs and get some money. So I remember I ended up sprinting upstairs, went downstairs, and I remember I basically ended up walking up to my babysitter saying, I was just wondering, is it cool if we order a pizza? I'm not paying for a pizza. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, my mom gave me money to pay for it. Is it cool if we order the pizza? Yeah, sure. Just order it. Um, I was hoping you would order it if that's okay. The reason I said this was because I was really nervous back then. I was really scared to basically call literally anyone. Yes, I had a phone, but it was only to call my parents. And to be fair, those were the only two numbers that were ever saved on my phone. Until obviously middle school. That's when I started pulling girls. But you know, I was just extremely nervous. I remember this girl ends up grabbing her phone and she ends up calling the pizza place, orders us a pizza. Except this pizza was the most disgusting pizza ever. She ended up getting sardines on the pizza and then pineapples. And on top of that, she ended up getting olives on top of it. At that moment, I slammed my head up against the wall and I just knew like I was not going to eat that night and I was just really upset. So what I decided to do is basically go into my kitchen cabinet and I ended up grabbing a loaf of bread and I ate that for the rest of the night. I remember 40 minutes went by and I ended up hearing the doorbell ring and obviously it was the pizza guy and I knew it was because I could smell the pizza coming from my window. And this babysitter ends up grabbing the pizza from the front door and calling me downstairs to eat the pizza with her. Now me, obviously I wasn't hungry anymore since I ate a loaf of bread. So I ended up going downstairs and I just sat with her basically. And I remember when this babysitter ended up opening up the pizza box, I am not joking. She ended up basically scratching her peach and literally was picking her nose. And then she went for the pizza slice. Like, bro, I didn't want to be anywhere near that pizza after I witnessed that. I was so disgusted. And I looked at her saying, are you not going to wash your hands? Baba, why would I wash my hands? I'm a girl. I'm just naturally clean. At that moment, I realized that this girl had no sense of hygiene or anything. And me, I was just so grossed out to the point where I just didn't want to be anywhere near her. But let's just say things went from gross to ultimately disgusting because what happens next, I got to say really
really freaks me out. I remember it was super late at night and it was around 10 30 at night. Now, me, usually my bedtime was at 10 o'clock back when I was in grade five. So I remember I went upstairs, I went to my room, and I basically started laying down and getting ready for sleeping. But as I was laying down, getting ready to sleep, I remember out of nowhere, my babysitter ends up walking into my room. She walks into my room and looks at me and says, Oh, Bubba, um, I was just wondering, do you want like some company? I remember I looked at her really confused and I said, No, why? Is everything okay? No, it's just I can't really sleep by myself. At that moment, I was really confused because I'm like, Wait, does this girl want to do the devil's tango with me? Like, what in the world's happening? And then one thing led to another. She ended up getting under my blanket with me and laying down beside me and passing out. At that moment, I was super annoyed because not only did this girl stink of anchovies, but she was just super disgusting. And I just couldn't sleep and I just felt like really weird. And also, what kind of babysitter does this? I remember after a while, like 20 minutes went by and me, I was still wide awake. She was passed out dead and I'm just laying there thinking this could not get any worse. But guess what? It ended up getting way worse because out of nowhere, I ended up looking to the side and I saw she ended up moving her like peach a little bit and she ended up releasing the loudest fart sound ever in my bed under the blanket. At that moment, I remember when she moved the blanket a bit around after that crazy fart, I ended up basically getting a whole whiff of what was coming out of under my blanket. And I'm not joking. My eyes started to water. I was so grossed out. And I remember I really just wanted to get out of there. So I ended up getting up and I actually ended up sleeping on my living room couch just because I could not breathe in my room anymore. I remember the next morning came by and I remember she ended up walking up to me on the couch and she asked me, Bubba, why'd you pass on the couch? Is everything okay? I looked at her and I just kind of rolled my eyes at her and I went upstairs to brush my teeth. But as for this babysitter, well, one thing I was right about, she did not brush her teeth. And I remember she ended up basically sitting on my couch and basically was ultimately disgusting. I will say though, when my parents finally got home, things were a lot better because obviously she ended up leaving. I told my parents, never ever get that disgusting babysitter again. They looked at me confused, but I knew what I was talking about. And when I went downstairs, I remember I saw my babysitter wasted on my couch saying, oh, Bubba, you're down here. Come cuddle with me for a little bit, please. I feel lonely. And I did not know what to do. And I wanted to get out of there super badly. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba. And welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So this story takes place back in my grade 10 year. And I remember in my grade 10 year, I wasn't the smartest kid, but I will say this. I definitely was super naughty, meaning that I would always do the devil's tango. And I would basically focus on anything but my actual schooling or anything that was actually supposed to be important in my life. I'm not going to lie to you. To this day, I still regret doing those types of things. And that's probably why I tell the stories of them because I'm really embarrassed of them. But I remember one time in my grade 10 year, out of nowhere, I ended up driving home one day. And when I got home with my car, I ended up seeing that my parents were ready to talk to me about something. I remember both my parents, they ended up bringing me to the kitchen and we sat down in the dining room and they said, Bubba, I looked at your school papers. It's pretty clear to me that you're not doing good in school. What's the reason for this? Uh, I just been distracted with other stuff, dad. I, I don't really know. Bubba, you're failing school. This is a big deal. Like, how are you supposed to leave this weekend and you not focus on school and failing? I I'll be fine. I'll focus this weekend. I promise. 100% you will be focusing this weekend because I also got a babysitter for this weekend for you. Wait, what? At this moment, I was super annoyed because I realized that my parents hired a babysitter to take care of me, even though I was in grade 10. And just a reminder, when you're in grade 10, you're like, what, 15 turning 16? So having a babysitter at that age is super embarrassing. Obviously, I kept begging my parents not for them to get me a babysitter, but they wouldn't listen and they wanted me to pay attention to school. So they ended up getting this babysitter. So knowing this, I was super upset and I went upstairs to my room and I was just basically like annoyed. And I ended up texting all my friends about how I was not able to go out this weekend or do anything because, well, I was going to be basically imprisoned in my own home. Like I would understand if I was in middle school, but being in grade 10, like seriously, a babysitter. So I ended up just getting really upset and just kind of having those rage moments in my room where I would just end up punching my pillow. But then out of nowhere, I remember I ended up hearing a knock on the door and my parents welcoming in the new babysitter. At that moment, I ended up going downstairs and I saw it was just some basic 22 year old lady that was just waiting to take care of some child. But when I came down the stairs to introduce myself, the babysitter looks at me as if I was weird. And she said to me, wait, so I'm taking care of you today? Yeah, my parents don't trust me. They're just being weird. No, we're not being weird. Actually, he's not focusing in school. So we need you to make sure he focuses on school. You understand? Oh yeah, I'll make sure he focuses on school. Okay, perfect. Okay, Bubba, me and your mom are leaving. At that moment, my babysitter ended up staring at me as my parents left. And we just stood there awkwardly, not knowing what to say to each other. And then randomly after like 30 seconds of silence, she looks at me and says, so you're not doing good in school, huh? Do you need any help with school? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay, good. Cause I'm not going to lie to you. I was terrible in school. Um, okay. And at that moment, I ended up just going upstairs and just playing video games and actually not doing my schoolwork. But this babysitter really just did not seem to care. And she ended up just going on my couch and just sitting down and doing her own thing. And I remember after 15 
15 minutes, I remember out of nowhere, I ended up taking off my headphones because I thought someone was at my front door. And when I went to my staircase, I ended up seeing that my babysitter was answering the front door, but the only thing that was at the front door was a bag. It was just a bag that was like the size of a duffel bag. And she ends up picking it up and bringing it inside the house. And she saw me on the top of the stairwell and said, oh, uh, sorry, I told my mom to bring me some clothes. I totally forgot them back at my place. Sorry about that. Uh, no, it's all good is what I told her. And at that moment, I ended up basically going back into my room. Now, I found it weird because she already had a backpack with her when she first came. So getting another bag of clothes, like how long was this girl planning on staying here for? Something wasn't adding up clearly, but I remember two hours went by and it was basically time for dinner. So what I decided to do is go downstairs and look at the babysitter and see what she was up to and see what was for dinner. But as I went into the living room, I saw she was just sitting there and she instantly hid something inside the duffel bag. Once I appeared out of the corner, she looked at me and said, oh, sorry, I was just um doing something. What's up? What do you need? Uh, I was just wondering, what are we having for dinner? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you want me to like order a pizza? Uh, yeah, that'll be cool. I'm down. Okay, well, just give me like 20 minutes and I'll just order a pizza and get everything set up. Uh, okay, cool. At that moment, I ended up going back upstairs and I ended up just playing video games once again because, well, there was nothing else to do since I was imprisoned in my own home thanks to my parents. But I mean, how bad could it be since we were getting pizza? At least so I thought because what ends up happening next, I gotta say, was really bizarre because I remember after like 20 minutes, I ended up going back downstairs and I saw that my babysitter was at the front door waiting for the pizza. But when I went downstairs to go talk to her, I remember I looked at her in the eyes and something seemed really off with her. Like, it's like her awareness just ended up disappearing. One minute, she was super aware when I came around the corner, but the next, she doesn't even seem like she knows what's left and right. I remember I looked at her and said, hey, like, is everything good? Oh, yeah, Baba, don't worry. I'm just waiting for the pizza. Okay, well, when did they say they'll be coming? Oh, they said they'll be coming in like, I don't know, like another five minutes. When did they say that? Oh, like 20 minutes ago. Okay, well, if you want, you can go sit down. Are you not feeling well? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Baba. And at that moment, I ended up grabbing her by the hand and just taking her to the couch. And I basically told her just to sit down and relax and I'll get the pizza myself. I remember another 45 minutes went by and me, I'm just sitting on this couch, staring at this babysitter, tripping out. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to let her do her own thing. And if things get worse, I'll call a doctor. AKA my plan was to actually just call 911 because I didn't know what else to do. But one thing led to another. I remember finally the door ended up ringing and I ended up basically going up to my front door and I ended up seeing it was the pizza guy. I ended up basically asking my babysitter for the money and she ended up just throwing her wallet at me. And I walked up to the door guy and I ended up saying, hey, uh, yeah, here's the money. Oh, okay, thanks. And he ended up leaving. At that moment, I ended up bringing the pizza to the living room and me and her, we started eating. But when we started eating, I am not joking. This babysitter was marching on this food as if it was her last dinner on death row. Like she was just eating it as if she was never eaten food before in her life. I remember I looked at her and said, hey, so... You're still feeling well, right? Yeah, Bubba, don't worry about me. I'm fine. It's just this food is so good. Okay, well, I'm going to go back upstairs. So I ended up getting like three slices of pizza, going upstairs and just playing video games again. But then I remember after like an hour went by, I ended up getting really worried because clearly I knew something was off with this babysitter, but I didn't know what. So what I decided to do was go back downstairs and I ended up basically going into the living room and seeing what my babysitter was up to. When I saw her though, I am not joking. Things went for the worst because I saw her in the living room and she looks over at me saying, oh, Oh, Bubba, you're here. Bubba, come here. I want to cuddle. I'm feeling really lonely. Do you want to what is what I said? And then she ended up basically standing up, walking up to me and grabbed me and said, I want to cuddle. Come here. And then me and her, we ended up going to the couch and we started cuddling on the couch together. I was cuddling my babysitter. At this moment, I didn't know what was going on, but she was holding on to me tighter than ever as if she lost a loved one. I ended up asking her if everything was okay, but she just wouldn't ever give me a clear answer until I ended up looking to the side of the couch and I saw her duffel bag was like a little bit slightly open. And when I reached my hand over to see what was inside, I realized it was full of alcohol. My babysitter was wasted and I didn't even know about it. At this moment, I didn't know what to do, but at least I knew what was going on. So I looked over at her and said, Hey, listen, you're not feeling well. And I can tell you drank. So I'm going to be honest. I'm going to let you just pass out for the night. I won't say anything to my parents, but you just need to calm down. Okay. Oh, Baba, don't tell anyone. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Uh, okay. And I ended up going upstairs to my bedroom and just pretended nothing was going on. But then out of nowhere, I want to say it was like two in the morning. I was still awake playing video games. And then afterwards, I ended up hearing from my door that someone was yelling in my house. I didn't know what was going on. So I ended up going downstairs to see what was happening. And I saw my babysitter was on the phone with her ex-boyfriend and they were just screaming at each other left and right. At this moment, I kind of realized why she was drinking. And it was because apparently her boyfriend cheated on her and stuff. But when I went downstairs, I ended up just grabbing the phone and I ended up hanging up saying, you need to stop. Like seriously, you need to calm down. 
down. My opinion, just lay down and get some rest, okay? Baba, I can't sleep by myself. Can I just sleep with you? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Baba, please, it'll be fine. At that moment, I remember this babysitter ended up hopping onto my back as if I was giving her a piggyback ride, and I ended up taking her upstairs to my bedroom, and she basically ended up passing out on my bed. No, I did not do the devil's tango with her, by the way, because obviously she was wasted. I would never do it with someone that was not aware of what was going on. And well, one thing led to another. It was getting super late. I ended up going downstairs and passing out on the couch. And the next morning, I remember at like 2 p.m., my babysitter ended up coming downstairs and she saw me pass out on the couch and she walked up to me and ended up giving me a kiss on the cheek saying thank you and left the place. Like she was supposed to be there for three days, by the way, but she literally ended up staying only one day and ended up leaving me. Kind of rude of the babysitter and it's honestly kind of insane how she did that. But hey, what can I say? I guess she had her own problems. And since the babysitter was gone as well, like <laughs> I can go do whatever I want. So I saw it as more of a win-win scenario. But if you guys thought this babysitter was insane, then my opinion, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.